guys so today I'm just filming a video for you on how to travel with clip and hair extensions without like having to wear them on the plane or carry anything big and bulky um, because I usually keep mine in this like Tupperware container um, whenever I'm not wearing them and it's kind of hard to bring that on like a plane or something so I'm gonna show you an easy way to do that okay so first things first, you're going to want to make sure your extensions are out of your hair, obviously. So I have mine over here. Um, and what we're going to be rolling them up in, instead of buying like a fancy roll up, is um, I'm going to use a silk pillowcase. This is like a satin pillowcase. Um, I don't know if you could buy them alone, but they normally come in sets. Um, you might be able to find them alone at some like home goods stores. Um, if you don't have one of these, you can use like a silk scarf. It really depends on the length of your extensions, what will work best for them. I have pretty long extensions, so I'm using this because this is what I think will work best. Um, if you don't have anything silk or satin, um, you can use a pillowcase or like a regular one or a like a towel. Just nothing too rough because you don't want it to damage the hair. So satin or silk are probably your best options. Now next, you're gonna want to take your extensions, starting with the bigger wefts first. Um, make sure they're combed out nice and straight, putting like whatever. If you put a leave-in product in them or anything, you want to put that in. Make sure the clips are undone. And then we're going to clip them, starting from the end. Leave a couple of inches at the end. I've left about like two and a half, three inches at the end of this. And I'm going to clip my extensions down, lying them flat. And pulling them straight so that they are all down flat and even. If you're worried about this going off in a metal detector, it shouldn't. There's not enough metal in the clips to do that so. And if it does, I mean, pretty easy. It's hair extensions. Um, you're going to take the other one. Now this is your other longest one. Um, I have two the same length. You might have one that's like a little bit smaller. Leave about an inch in between there and clip it down the same way. Now I have two smaller one inch wefts. Um, one, one and a half inch wefts. And I'm gonna put one of them at the end, at one of the ends. Um, just making sure this is flat down straight. You could brush it down flat if you want like so It's really all up to your preference Normally I just put mine in like this plastic container so Now I'm going to take one of my inch ones and put it right in the middle of the two That down flat and now whichever side has more space. I'm going to put the other one down So I only have two larger wefts and two one inch ones. So it kind of fits perfectly. If you have like all different sizes, you might need, need two pillowcases or a longer towel it's or something to sort. Oh, my computer just talked to me. Okay, anyway. Um, so now to roll it up, you're gonna fold it in the closed side down. Just roll it. You can buy fancy extension roll ups like uh, from Foxy Locks or Sally's Online might sell them. I'm not quite too sure, but this does just fine. You might want to put the clips in like this and then fold the other side over it, the other side with the ends. You could um, clip it. This might crease your extensions, so bring a straightener with you if you keep them straight or a curling iron or whatever. Um, yeah, other than that, that should be good. Remember to bring your brush with you. Um, I just use a flat like paddle brush with wide tooth, so it's like it's made for kids, no damage. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope that was a good tip for you. And if you do this and you want to film like a video response, feel free to post it below. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.